Hi everyone and welcome to the Mach 5 Boeing 737 training series. My name is Daryl and today we're going to be looking at how to conduct a normal takeoff in the Boeing 737. Check out the link in the description to download the Boeing 737 flight sim checklist that I'm using today as well as the Mach 5 Boeing 737 flight sim guide. On the Mach 5 uh, YouTube channel or Mach 5 page on Facebook you can find all my video tutorials guides, gameplay, and other reference material to help take your own flight sim experience to the next level. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Okay, now we're going to be doing a uh, normal takeoff here off runway uh, 04 right. I have the winds uh, set to calm and uh, we're going to on departure fly uh, runway heading to 5,000 feet. So uh, once we are cleared to position, We'll select the uh, external lights up here. We'll put uh, the runway turnoff lights, the landing lights all on, and strobe and steady on the position lights. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'll uh, I'll talk about it a little bit before uh, I actually do it because a lot's going to be happening in a relatively uh, short period of time and uh, you know hopefully uh, you can you can get an idea of what's going to happen before it happens so I'm going to line up on the runway we're going to I'm going to set 40 percent N1 down here and uh, once that uh, stabilizes I'm going to uh, press the toga button which I have mapped to my throttle once I push the toga button, we're going to see uh, N1 heading select toga. So the N1 is the auto thrust, and that's going to take our thrust from 40% and automatically set our takeoff uh, power. Heading select, our flight director is going to just uh, be um, is going to guide us to maintain heading and. Uh, Toga means that we're in the uh, takeoff or go around flight director mode. Okay, so we'll just want to verify that and then we'll be looking out the window again to track the center line. Uh, if we did have a crosswind, we could apply uh, into wind con uh, roll control input basically just to maintain wings level and uh, no more than that's needed. At 80 knots, we're going to get a thrust hold indication. So basically the thrust, auto thrust, the auto throttle is going to, servo is going to disconnect and if we if we wanted to we could then move the thrust lever and it will stay wherever we move it. And um, our V1 speed is going to show up on the speed tape here. That's our decision speed. If we have a uh, a critical malfunction prior to that speed we can reject the takeoff and still not go off the end of the runway however if anything any malfunction occurs after V1 we're committed to take off because we can't guarantee that we'll have enough stopping distance available so at V1 we're committed to take off and then rotate we're going to uh, rotate uh, the aircraft uh, mainly by looking out the window and seeing a positive pitch rotation and uh, we can cross check that with our attitude indicator. We're going to be looking for about uh, two to three degrees uh, per second of upwards rotation. And we're going to be uh, basically rotating up towards the 15 degree pitch mark. And uh, once the flight director uh, becomes active, we'll uh, start following that. Um, once we do get uh, air, so basically you're looking at uh, you could say roughly, uh, you know, five, five seconds to, uh, you know, four to five seconds to ten degrees nose up is ideally what it should take. Also, once we do get airborne, we're going to be checking to see positive VSI and the airspeed, or sorry, the altitude tape increasing, and that's known as positive rate. At that point, we can bring the landing gear up and uh, the flight director will target our airspeed um, roughly somewhere between 
uh, rotation, uh, sorry, V2 to V2 plus 20, depending on how fast we are or when it actually kicks in. And so that will help us, uh, we can just follow the flight directors and that'll maintain our heading as well as our, uh, our airspeed on takeoff. At about uh, 50 feet, if we had LNAV engaged, it would uh, then engage. However, we're going to be uh, staying in heading select and uh, VNAV will engage in VNAV speed at 400 feet. And we've set our, uh, we'll have a look down here, I'll show you. We have already set, there's our V speed. So V1 is going to be at 140, VR is going to be 141, and V2 is 147. Um, VNAV speed engages and at a thousand feet, it's going to accelerate us so that we can retract our flaps. Also at a thousand feet, the thrust is going to be reduced to climb thrust. So we're going to get climb two uh, up here on the uh, engine gauges. And that will be set automatically by the auto thrust. And basically any time above 400 feet, we can uh, engage the autopilot in command. So I'll uh, probably put the autopilot on somewhere between 400 and 600 feet. And we'll retract the flaps. The way the flaps retraction uh, goes, we have uh, flaps five for departure today. And uh, once we're at flaps five maneuvering speed and we're accelerating, we can, ex we can retract up to flaps one. Once we reach flaps one maneuvering speed and we're accelerating, we can bring our flaps up. And uh, basically skip right over the flaps two. It's not part of the normal uh, flap retraction schedule. And uh, if you're ever confused, uh, just have a look at your speed tape. The arrow pointing up will point to the flap that you can move to. So when we're accelerating through our flaps five maneuvering speed, the arrow will be pointing up to the number one and we're good to retract up to flaps one. Uh, once we are all, once we have our flaps up and we're, um, everything's good, auto autopilot on, we can uh, complete the uh, after takeoff checklist. Okay, so once uh, we'll say we're clear for takeoff, we set our lights as discussed. I'm going to press my toe pedals to release the park brake, and I'll add some thrust. I'll set about 40% uh, to get us moving here. on the roll. I'm going to actually uh, just kind of line us up here. Take our time. So that looks like it, uh, it's relatively straight. Alright, so when we do go, I'm going to set, so we're going to go right now actually. So I'm going to set about 40% uh, about on the N1. I'll press the toga switch and we should get N1 heading select and toga. So uh, here we go. Toga. N1 heading select toga. I'm going to track uh, straight down the runway with the rudder pedals. You can see we got uh, our thrust is set. Upwards, trying to get that two degrees per 
second. Pause the brake. And bring the gear up. And I'm following the uh, flight director bars. 400. There's N1 at VNAP speed. Autopilot's now engaged in command. One thousand. Thousand feet. Climb thrust is set. The aircraft is going to start to uh, pitch down and accelerate. And we are starting to accelerate. You can see the arrow points up to the flap that we are uh, able to retract now. So we can go to flaps one. Skipped right over two, went right to flaps one. And at flaps up maneuvering speed, we can bring the flaps up. And the aircraft is going to accelerate all the way up to uh, 250 knots now with the flaps up. All right, so we can now complete our uh, after takeoff checklist. I have the uh, engine bleeds on, packs auto. Landing gear is up. And we can actually go right to landing gear off now. Auto brake. Off. And flaps are up. The after takeoff checklist is complete. That's going to go.